21 albums. Really? Yes. I have an album with um, 11 number one song on it. Ixley of the Armas gone, all praises due to the Almighty. I'm the original Rootsman Earl Chen, Rockers TV. Hope you're feeling copacetic and hopeful and bright. Needless to say, it's a pleasure to have you in my congregation because, you know, you just keep it real. Today, I'm very honored and pleased and feel so overwhelmed to be in the presence of one of Jamaica's remaining true legend who has contributed to the development of reggae music with some big hits like OK Fred, Black Cinderella, Movie Star, Ooh Darling, <laughs> and we could go on and on. I'm quite sure you must have an idea who I'm referring to. I want to welcome a living legend once again, Errol. How are you doing, my brother? Happy New greetings. Year. Greetings. Uh, same to you, uh, All the best. Uh, greetings. Yes. A pleasure to be here. Yeah. Greetings to all your fans there, man. Everyone who is not on. How does it feel to be a man? Yeah, because you have one of the few legends that is still alive, you know what I'm saying? What, 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 what is the, 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 how you preserve. preserve or really maintain the longevity from 19... You first came into the business in 1961. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 62. 62. I was 11 years old. 11 years old. Yeah, singing for Prince Buster. Right. But I never had any big hit. I never had any success with Prince Buster until I started working with Joe Gibbs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was in 1965 when I was like... Errol Thompson was one of the engineers down there. Was, was he there yet? Errol Thompson not come around yet, man. Okay, <laughs> okay. Errol Thompson yeah. there. Uh. A studio one. Mm -hmm. I learned the business mm -hmm. with the engineer, City Buckner. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Dad, I'm an employer. You know what I mean? So, you don't know, say, a Joe gives my boss lead. Mm -hmm. And I had, had big success with Joe Gibbs, but it never lasted. Mm -hmm. I start working with people like Bunny Lee, because he was the one who introduced me to Joe Gibbs. Mm -hmm. When Joe Gibbs was just coming into the business, because the first hit song Joe Gibbs had at the time was a song named Old Lem with Roy Shirley. Okay. Then I came along, Bunny Lee took me there, and I did. Um, a song called, But You're Gonna Need Me. Me, me Yeah, that was my first yeah. hit song. <laughs> then yeah. I had a follow-up. Uh -huh. Please stop your lying, girl, mm -hmm. and speak the truth. That was the second hit song. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then I did, I, I did um, a, 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 a medley of the songs, because at the time, this medley thing was going on, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Alton do like six songs together. Okay. Ken Bode, a portion of, of, of songs you sing in one same way. Then I did um, my three hit songs, Group Edwards, which was a big success. Mm -hmm. And those songs were? The, those songs were. The three, but what you did over the three year. songs yeah. was um, You're Gonna Need Me, mm -hmm. Stop Your Life, Girl, okay. and I'm Going Home. You know what I mean? And at an at a early age, I start producing for myself because we never liked the treatment that the producers were giving us. So me and Gopi Farm, the African Museum. I did um, Black Cinderella, um, One Foot Jimmy, Jimmy Radley, and then I, I, and me and Gregory formed the African Museum where we had movie star, was a giant hit, the first release on the, on the African Museum. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know and I mean, we record other artists like Big Youth. Record Dennis Brown. Really? Yeah, something like that? Okay. Yeah, Because yeah. 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 Dennis was, was my predecessor. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Because so, 
I was a walk walk was at the school in Libra. Then we go on tour. And he had a man to be there. Here I am. Me and Delroy and him had a story. Okay. He was like the three five star in Jamaica. Delroy started out before me. And I, I came on the tail end of Skia. Mm -hmm. Till it changed to rock steady. That's when Dennis come in with no man in the island in the Rocksteady era. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The Amtel Moon used to spark when Stranger came and him just start singing together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I've been singing before enough of the artists. Like. You say you started at 11? Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, when did you discover that you had such a gift and such a talent? To be to, to eventually become who you are. I, 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 I never thought that I had a talent. I just love to sing. Yeah. Because those days, you sing a song, you get like 20, 20, 20 pounds, and you don't get no more money. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It was not money, it was just for the love of it. And at the time, the beauty and our dear sell them one bus and them bus. We used to say we want to make a name. You know what I mean? We want to be known. But they're gonna need me.